Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? It is wonderful to see you back here. you safe and wondrous travels. Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Hogsmeade, here I come. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. No need to race now, my friend. Let's go! Anticipation. This looks intriguing. one of those tables Professor Shah mentioned.
Concentrate. We've made our money. Now let's burn him and be done with it. We may be working with the goblin. You're in there! Somebody out there? The person! Confront him! Bombarda! We've been looking for you. You're the one who stole. No! You will pay for your. Shame oh. nobody saw that. Here's a pleasant surprise. Leviosa. Lumos. <gasps> I should investigate. Revelio. Lumos. It's so tricky. Revelio Lumos Alohomora outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, 
I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I wonder who lives here. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Muggles have made life hard for us since the dawn of time. I do hope he hasn't been kidnapped. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. 
I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. What do you have for sale? What's brought you here today? That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Thank you for stopping by. Revelia. Alohomora. now, Demi guys. Rebellion.
Velio. more. Looks intriguing. Revenia. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio.
Revelio. If only I could invent a new potion. Something indispensable. I'd be set for life. Not to worry. I like this. Ah, the secret is do the hard work first, and let the easy bits take care of themselves. Revelio! Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Clifford Cromwell. What can you tell me about your shop? I sell plants and their byproducts here. Herbology was always my passion, even as a young Hufflepuff at Hogwarts. I've met some interesting students in Hufflepuff. Hard-working lot, I gather. We are indeed. Glad to know our reputation still stands strong. I'd like to learn a bit about you, sir, if you don't mind. Well, how charming. No one ever asks about me. Been in Marrowneen since I left Hogwarts. I did some work with the Ministry as a young man. A uh, confidential project. <laughs> Had to do with the usage of mandrakes. As weapons, believe it or not. Went through enough cotton wool in my ears to fill a cauldron. But after a time, I sought a quieter life. Set up shop here, selling my wares. I am always content among my plants. I'd like to ask you a bit about Marenweem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. Any notable places I should look at while I'm here? Aside from the lake, which is always a delightful spot to unwind, we're happy simply to wander in the nearby hills. You'll hear rumours of treasure in those same hills, but I've never seen it. Likely someone making up stories. <laughs> what do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? I hope this serves you well in all of your future herbological ventures. Such a pleasure doing business with you. Be sure to visit again. Always Rebellion. brightens my day helping you young ones. It's like a place right out of a storybook. May I have a moment of your time? Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Diracol. A Diracol? What's that? It's a magical bird. Muggles call it a dodo and believe the creature to be extinct. But that's because it can disappear whenever humans draw near. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Can you tell me what the Derricol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Derricals lolling about. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. 
I'll keep an eye out for a large white Duracool. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. Alohomora. I suppose I should watch for Gonaira. At night, apparently. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Guardian Leviosa. lives here. I should investigate.
Velia. Confringo. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Pavelia. Could it be? Rebellion. Rebellion.
proud. Rebellion. Pavelio.
I did it. Oh, that winder no less. Revelia. Your pockets after you're dead. This is the Diracle Den, but Miss Moffat said Gwenaira only appears at night. This is the Diracle Den, but Miss Moffat said Gwenaira only appears at night. They teach the dark arts at other schools. I've raided Brockborough more times than I can count. Still believe I defeated an Ashwinder by myself. Revelio.
Everything's all right now. This must be the Diracool den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. An astronomy table should prove useful once the sun's down. Revelio. Stop right there! It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, hello! Any luck finding- Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? 
Yes, but I'll be expecting payment first. I suppose that's fair. I'm well aware of how difficult she must have been to catch. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwen Nyra. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers. Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Clifford Cromwell. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Sure to visit again. Always brightens my day helping you young ones. Hmm. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. You think you're so... I can't believe you took Nora Treadwell from us! Around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelia.
Revelio. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. You will regret it. Rebellion. I'm not your best moment, I fear. Yeah. You won't defeat us all! Grand Rockers! Yeah. Avenge our leader! Confringo! Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Rebellion. 